<laughs> here to answer some of your questions, let's start with this first one here. Having to do with Omicron, this variant, with growing concern over Omicron, should we change our behaviors overall? Okay, so so many people talking about this and I think it's really important to distinguish between recommendations made by public health officials for the general population, for countries, for cities, for massive groups of people and then what we should do as individuals, first of all, we have individual responsibility, not just for our own health, but for the health of those around us. And you can do a lot even amidst situation and circumstances that feel like, feels like we have no control. So when you talk about modifying our behavior, particularly if you are at higher risk, Sure, this might be a time in the next couple of weeks as we go into holiday season that you might want to be more selective and strategic about what you're doing, who you're doing it with, whether you utilize these at home or rapid tests, whether you wear masks more often, whether you take your gatherings in an outdoor environment, weather permitting, all of those things are under our control. It's very easy to forget that when we hear headlines that are concerning, but there's a lot we can do as and individuals. And when people hear those headlines this is a question I actually heard people asking today how do they know what variant you have do they test every specimen well I wish we could test every specimen we're not even close we're around single digit percentages now according to the CD CDC of how many viral specimens here in the United States get so-called genetic sequencing so that's looking at the fingerprint the genetic profile of the viral specimen obviously with so many rapid tests being done none of those are being sequenced right so they can't sequence every specimen even by pcr they're getting a smattering and that small percentage in the united states is what we kind of use to indicate what percentage is the predominant strain right now it's still delta but i want to be crystal clear there is no reason to think that omicron is not already here in the united states if it's in the uk five hours to, you know, away from New York City. Yep. It's very likely already here. All right, Dr. Ashton, we thank you as always. Folks, keep your questions coming to Dr. Ashton on our Instagram at Dr. J. Ashton. We well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.